Hey guys, um, so today we're going to learn the difference between a linear function and a nonlinear function. We've been working with functions, which are rules that explain how numbers are connected, or the relationship between them, but now we're going to look at relationships that are linear. Now before we do that, we need to understand what linear means, and linear means a line. Basically, it's a straight, a straight line. Okay, it can go either direction. It can go up, it can go down, it can go straight up and down, it can go straight, you know, left to right. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that it's a straight line. That's what linear means. So a linear function is a function of a line. Okay, now lines are kind of simple. Lines are constant, right? They explain what lines by going the change in y over the change in x. The change in y over the change in x, or how steep it is. And if you look at it, it's always, always going to be the same, like a staircase. Whereas nonlinear lines are lines that curve, lines that turn, lines that twist and roll and spin and things like that. These are nonlinear, okay? These do change. They change very drastically and very differently. Their change in y over their change in x is always different. It's not constant. So that's what a, a nonlinear line is and a linear line is. Now, to do it with line, that's pretty easy. Wow, that one's straight, that one's nice. So obviously that one's linear. The trick is to know when a function is linear or nonlinear looking at its data. Okay? So let's say I have a function here where... I don't know, we'll, we'll plug in the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, okay? And let's say we get out the numbers, we'll say 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So you probably see some patterns here. Well, to understand if this is a linear function, we have to look at the change in y. So the change in the y's, the y axis over the change in x, over the change in x, it has to be constant, meaning every stinking time it does the same thing. Because in a straight line, you're going up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over, the same every time, change in y, change in x, change in y, change in x, it has to be the same. So we got to look. How much are the y's changing each time? So from 0 to 5, it's changing by a positive 5. From 5 to 10, it's changing a positive 5. From 10 to 15, it's changing a positive 5. 15 to 20, 20 to 25, if you look, every single one of these is changing the same. So my change in y is a positive 5. Okay? Now we got to look over the change in x. How much are the x's changing each time? So from 2 to 4, it's changing by a positive 2. 4 to 6, by a positive 2. 6 to 8, positive 2. 8 to 10, positive 2. 10 to 12, positive 2. Every stinking time, it's changing by 2. So 5 to 2, 5 to 2. Is it the same every single time? Yes. So therefore, the change in y over changes in x is 5 over 2. Or it's going, it's going up 5 over 2. Up 5 over 2 to create that straight line. That's what's happening. So this is linear. Okay? Let me give you another example of what a linear function looks like. Okay? So here's, here's another table. So remember, to see if it's linear, we've got to look at the change in y over the change in x. How much are the y's changing compared to how much the x is changing? They just say y all day long because they say y. So again, 5 to 10 is going up 5, 10 to 15, up 5, 15 to 20, up 5. Those are the same every time. 1 to 4 is up 3, 4 to 7 is up 3, 7 to 10 is up 3. Are they changing the same every time? Yes. The y's are changing by 5, the threes are the x's are changing by 3's, so therefore it's constant, my rise are overrun, or my y over x is 5 thirds, this is linear. Okay? 
Now let me show you an example of one that is non-linear. So let's say I have another table, x and y, looks like this. And I plug in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if I plug these numbers into some function, I don't know, we're just making something up. But I plug it into a function, I get out a 0, I get out a 2, I get out a 6. Um, geez, I get out a 12, I get out a 20, I get out a geez, 35, I don't know. Okay, something like that. Well, let's look. Let's look. What are my y is changing by? What are my x is changing by? Now remember, it has to be constant in order to be linear. So from 0 to 2, it goes up 2. From 2 to 4, it goes up 4. From 6 to 12, it goes up 6. From 12 to 18, it goes up 8. From 20 to 15, it goes up 15. I'm not seeing a constant. I need to be seeing, oh, my lights just turned off. I need to be seeing a constant. It needs to be changing by the same number every time. 5, 5, 5, 5, 3, 3, 3. In this case, it's not. Even though there might be a pattern like 2, 4, 6, 8, that doesn't matter. What matters is that it's constant. So we should be seeing like a 2, 2, 2, 2. So that right there alone tells me this is non-linear. And what that probably looks like as a graph is it probably goes like up 2 over 1, then it goes up 4 over 1, and then it goes up 6 over 1. And we have these stairs that aren't the same and they're hard to walk on, and it creates like a curved line which makes it non-linear. So there's a video to kind of show you the difference between a linear function and a non-linear function. Thanks, guys.